this video, I'm gonna take you through a fake and finish progression right along the crease area that can be used both in the box game or out on the field. So before we get started shooting on the net, we're gonna practice and master the mechanics of the inside fake and finish on the wall first. So for right-handed players, your right wrist is gonna dominate the motion. Start with your stick flat and level on your shoulder here. Your right wrist is gonna dominate the motion by having it roll inside. When you roll your stick, the head of the stick is almost turning 180 degrees. After you've rolled your right wrist, you then immediately bring it back on your shooting shoulder. That way you're now in a position to shoot the ball. You can practice this with two hands by having your left hand loose and it's just gonna really control and stabilize the bottom part of the shaft as your right hand does all the work. So we roll, bring it back, roll, bring it back. Practice this without a ball 10 to 15 times, whatever um, makes you more comfortable doing it and then grab a ball and then let's go find the wall. All right, so after you practice the mechanics without a ball, we're now going to get a ball, find a wall and put it all together. We're gonna isolate our wrist by having our toes pointed to the wall that we're throwing to. Two hands on the stick, stick starts flat and level. Gonna roll that right wrist, bring it back to the throwing shoulder, making sure the stick goes back to its level position and then pass it. Start slow and controlled. And then once you are comfortable doing it at a controlled pace, you can now pick up the tempo and get reps, reps, reps. So after you've hit the wall, we're now gonna go on and shoot. All right, so now we put it in motion here. While we're going through this, we're gonna visualize a couple of things. We're gonna visualize where my defender is and where the goalie is. As I'm moving across this crease left to right, we're gonna visualize that that defender is now on my back. That will determine on how I need to position my stick. We're also going to visualize how the goalie would be positioned relative to the ball. And in this scenario, the goalie would be right on that left pipe and he'll be moving from our left to right. I'm gonna to fake top left and finish bottom right as I move across the floor. So the stick's gonna remain in our right hand. And we're gonna start tight right along the GLE. Okay, you can get a little rhythm and slow by moving our feet, cradling. And as I take my first step forward to get to the middle of the floor, I'm gonna face dodge. Now I'm gonna leave it here. We're visualizing that that defender is now on my back and then that's when I get into a shuffle. This shuffle will keep that defender on my back and now all he can do is either wait for my stick to be exposed and throw a last second check or he can push me in the back which can draw a penalty. As I'm shuffling, I'm bringing my stick here in tight. I'm faking top left. I'm gonna shoot top right. So I'll put that all together for you guys. We're here, rhythm, face dodge, shuffle, fake and finish. Practice this skill and you will become a more confident shooter right on the crease.